What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. Hope you guys are doing well out there on this beautiful Monday. I'm doing well myself. I hope you guys had a very, very nice, relaxing weekend. You know what I always say about that. Went well, just went too fast. Um, that game yesterday, well, let's just say we knew the fix was in for those of you that may still be upset about the 49ers losing to the Kansas City Chiefs. You understand? But be it as is, we're going to discuss some of that in the... Um, friday's bible study not so much about the game but more about the commercials you understand but to get on topic here uh wow you know they had a shooting there in uh, joel alstein's uh lakewood uh church by this woman right here okay it says here authorities are probing a shooting at pastor joel's Osteen lakewood church roughly six miles from downtown houston in which they said a woman walked in accompanied by a child, a young child that is, and began firing before she was killed by law enforcement herself. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into uh, these couple of videos, then we'll finish the commentary. We start with the Fox 10 News alert tonight. A possible shooter is dead and a five-year-old is in critical condition after a shooting at a Houston area mega church, the Lakewood Church, run by celebrity pastor Joel Osteen. Police say a woman in her 30s entered the building with a long rifle and a child and opened fire. Off-duty officers working at the church exchanged gunfire. No word on the woman or child's identity yet or possible motive. Back to the valley. Getting to a story brought to you as breaking news at 6. We now know the name of the shooter who opened fire at a church in Houston was killed at the scene. Police say the shooter, a woman, entered the House of Worship megachurch with a boy. Police believe he's about five years old. Then police say the woman opened fire. Two off-duty law enforcement officers at the church returned fire, killing the woman. The shooting was reported around the same time the Spanish language service was about to begin. The officer and agent uh, engaged, uh, striking the female. Uh, she's deceased here on the scene. Unfortunately, the five-year-old kid was hit and is in critical condition at our local hospital. That was a 57-year-old man who didn't have anything to do with it, I don't think was shot in the leg. These men and women did an amazing job, and it's just, you, you said it, Chief, it could have been a lot worse. Of course, we're devastated. I mean, this we've been here 65 years and have somebody shooting in your church, but, you know, we don't understand why these things happen, but we know God's in control, and we'll pray for that little five-year-old boy, and pray for the lady that was deceased. Police have not released the woman's name. The House of Worship was one of the largest Christian megachurches in the U.S. Wow. Now, we'll never get the story, the real story, while 36-year-old Janice Marino actually went there and uh, shot the place up. You understand? I have my suspicions because Joel Osteen, <laughs> to me, you know, he's a shady character. Regardless of uh, all the mega church and he's leading people to God and all that kind of stuff. You know, I think he's a liar. I think he's a false prophet. And I think there's some nefarious things going on. And it's a good chance that, now this is just me. This is what I believe, that Joel Osteen may have took advantage of this woman some kind of way. You know, uh, of course, he's going to get out there and do a little PR move to where he can make like, oh, well, this is just something that happened, you know, and, uh, you know, we got crazy people out here, what have you. But... Trust and believe there's something else more to this story and senator and sinister and affairs in nature when it comes down to this particular situation, right? You know, uh, this woman seemed as though, you know, um, just looking at her picture, she's very troubled, but um, she could be a migrant too. I don't know, but where did she get the gun from? And why did she single out Joel Alstein's church? See, this is what makes him look guilty. You know what I'm saying? As far as I'm concerned, in my book, because there's past discussions with Joel, Joel Austin and his church, you know, the same way. Like those millions of dollars found in the wall. You know what I'm saying? Why would millions of dollars be found in your church wall? I mean, all kinds of crazy stuff. You know, the time when those people were seeking asylum, you know, uh, 
I can't remember actually what it was. I think some people had got either flooded out or was in a tornado. And um, he wouldn't open up this church for those people to come in. But yet and still, he claims to be a man of God. I mean, it's not like it's his own personal home. You understand? As uh, far as I'm concerned, why not let the people come in and lodge at the church until they find a better place for them to be? You know, so like I'm saying, man, it's more to this story, you know, than what meets the eye. And um, it's too bad that this woman couldn't tell her side of it. OK, that's all I got on this one. People, I want you guys to tell me what you think about this particular situation right here. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts on it in the comment section. If you can comment, like, share and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we're being watched simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.